Hello, my crafty friends. This is Albina de Latinger34. Thank you for stopping by to my channel. Today, I want to share um, uh, a swap that I've been working uh, on. It's uh, Tamika's. Uh, she is, um, her channel is, is Crap the War. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Tamika is because she's awesome. She has these awesome videos and she does these awesome swaps. And I try to participate in almost every single one, but sometimes it takes a lot of time, guys. But I was very happy and excited about this one because I love to craft uh, on Halloween, for Halloween. So this was um, a swap call. I don't remember um it was a halloween swap we needed to create two embellishments one memory dex card and two um back toppers and include the backs okay so i am on i don't remember exactly what group am i um but I know that there are three ladies, four, it's a group of four, so I have to make three, and of course I did four because I'm sending one to Tamika. Um, I don't remember in what group am I, but I'm gonna leave it in the description box below, okay? Because some of the ladies that are on my group want to get a sneak peek, they can, uh, they can watch my video. Okay, so it's called Ghoulish Halloween gift set. And we needed to pick uh, the pastelloween or traditional. And I pick traditional because I'm not sure about the pastelloween. It's so cute, but I don't have too much stuff of pastelloween, like ephemera and all that kind of stuff. I have one paper pad that I got from Michael, but that was it. So I decided to do traditional. So this is my swap over here and let me show you what I created. So these are my two embellishments. Uh, we're gonna pull it out of the bag. So one is a rosette. It's a green rosette. And I put some tool from the Dollar Tree and I just cut around the spider web and I use one of my felt, glitter felt uh, stickers that I got from Joann's. I'm loving this, this set, guys. Um, let me show you. It's this one, so the, is it these ones? Yeah. I love these, guys. I got them at Joann's. Okay. And then I put some uh, rhinestones uh, to do the eyes and these are the the rhinestones that i just cut two little rhinestones and i glued them on the spider very simple and nice and creepy and then i got a skeleton face like um i like the the day of the dead you know like the El dia de los muertos is called in spanish and i love this movie uh, from disney called coco um but I wanted to do a create like a like a skull like a like a cute skull but at the same time creepy so I found this uh, cut on my Cricut design software so I cut it and of course it had more uh, elements to the cutting but I just wanted to do it a little simple because I was gonna alter it so the nose I put some of the bling bling that I just showed you I decided to put some googly eyes and two flowers on top and I think it looks awesome I really really like it okay I need to create one for me I didn't create one for me so the those are the embellishments and then we needed to create a memory decks and let me tell you guys all my memory decks are the same except for the memory decks card is different now this is a um, uh, SVG file cut and it's from Loli, Loli Palooza. I'm gonna try to leave the link in the description box below. Sometimes I forget, 
but she has a YouTube channel and she sells this in her stories. Um, it's a, a, a set of four. Um, it's like a regular memory deck square, then this oval, it has like a sticker and like a banner one. And they are very, very cute. So let me show you. They're all the same as the decoration, okay? So I decided to put some um, spider webs in the back. And the spider webs that I decided to use, I got some from my created time with Emma. And this other one that is from, uh, uh, it says Lace Corner. It says Spider-Wear, let me see. Sherry Lynn Designs. Now this, I got it on a jar cell, the scrapbook jar cell that we have over here in my local store. So I don't know if they still sell them. And the other spider web die that I use is from My Created Time. And is this one over here. I love this set. It's mycreatedtime.com. And that's the spider web. It's, it's not that big, but I love it. I just want to show you. That's the spider web. Okay. So, the girl and the... Oh my god, how do you, oh my god, I forgot the name of the the witch's ball. I don't know, I, I forgot the name, sorry. Um, this is a cut from a, uh, my Cricut Designs also. Um, it's super, super cute. And I used, I decided to use some Pichikin faces. And the Pichikin faces that I use, I have everything over here so I can show you guys. Is this one over here and it's called White Eye Kids Face Assortment. Now, I don't know if they still sell them because Peachy King, they retire a lot of stamps. And then I got a pumpkin underneath and this pumpkin is a die from the Michael's dies, the recollections. And the Halloween is a die as well from the same set that I just showed you from my created time. And then I decided to put a, a broom, but let's pull this. This broom, you guys can pull it so you can leave it in your memory decks or you can use it as an embellishment as well or to create in whatever project you want. And these are some uh, pop cakes sticks that I got and I just uh, color it with a um, copy marker, like a little brownish. And this um, is a scatter spiders scatter for the table that you guys can get at Walmart um, the broom I did it with crepe paper super super cute and then you just put it back over here so you guys watch this you guys can remove the you guys can remove the the broom okay now I got some um, enamel enamel dots over here and these are made with my Nubo drops. And that's my memory decks card, guys. And I love it. And I did one for myself for these ones for my stash. Because I really, really love how it looks. So we're going to put it back in the bag. Because I still have to do... Um, It's always easy to pull, but it's always so hard to put it back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's the... Oh my god, I just needed to pull it from here. <laughs> okay. So that's my memory deck scar. And then we had the two back toppers. And these are my back toppers. And let me tell you guys, I love the back toppers. And now these dies... I use three different dies for my back toppers and I don't know if I pull them. Let me check over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know I have one over here, but the other one, I think I put it back, but we can grab it as well. Okay, so this is one. 
This one is for from Spellbinders. It's called Teardrops Circles. The other one is from my created time and it's a stitch doily die. Okay? And the last one is this one over here with this circle is it this one yes it is this one's over here is called beaded circles and it's from spellbinder so these are the dies that i use to create my back toppers okay uh, let's pull this out these are the two bags that i'm including for this now these are the back very simple and this is the front so this is um, it has the dots the paper is from Hocus Pocus from Recollections and I put some um, how do you call this it's like a bandage yeah let's the elastic bandage underneath and I put a bat over here and this one I fussy cut it from a pattern paper that I have that I love and then these stickers are from the same stickers that I just showed you that I got at Joann's and I pop them up so it has a little I don't know if you can see it but it has a little dimension dimension so that's the first one the second one let me pull this out guys because oh my god I just love this here is the spider web from my created time. This skeleton skull, I fussy cut it as well from some pattern paper that I had. And this is a die also from my created time that I just showed you for the spider web. And what I did is, can you guys see the crack, the crack on the spider? I use uh, the glossy accents, uh, the Oh no, it's, this, this is not it. It's glossy accent, but it's crackle accents from Ink Essentials. Okay? So I use that on the spider. And then I put some uh, corn candy. And this is uh, some um, die cuts that I got from Walmart. And I made myself my, and it's, I'm so proud of it. Can you see it? You can open it over there and put something inside. I did my own goodie bag from my trick or treat. And it says trick or treat. I love these guys. Isn't this cute? I mean, it's creepy, but cute. So this is what I did. And these are my two back toppers. And I think they are super, super, super cute. I hope my partners like what I did for them. Um, we only have a sure like two weeks, I think, to create this because Tamika wants to send everything to everybody before the 31st, October 31st. So if we wanna give some goodies, we can use our back toppers. So that's my, um, my swap. I hope you guys like it. Now let me show you the other memory dex cards because I already added glue it, but this is the other memory dex card. It's like a banner. You see? This is the other memory dex card. And this is the other one that is like a regular one. Okay. And then we have other one over here. And that's a ticket. So those are the memory dex cards that you guys can get from Lollipalooza. Okay? Okay, guys. So that's my swap. Uh, thank you for stopping by and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.